Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So let's talk quality assurance. So it is now 2019 and I have been audited to do my quality assurance. So I can either do the portfolio or the quality assurance exam. I have decided to submit my portfolio. I have done it once before about five years ago. Um, so that's what I'm going to do, but I'll talk more about that in a little bit. But so those who have been audited for this year, so 2019, who have to submit by January, the end of January 2020, are everybody whose license number ends in a two or six. Mine ends in a six, so there you go. So you might be wondering for the year after that. So the, those who have been audited for 2020, um, they are required to submit something by January, the end of January, sorry, 2021. And those are everybody whose license number ends in a zero or a one. Okay, so that's kind of the rundown quickly. Um, the most common questions that I do have from people are, do I really have to do this? Yes, you have to. If you want to keep your license, there's no exceptions to the rule. Of course, if you feel like you could be an exception, um, contact the CDHO and simply ask them because I can't tell you if you would be or not. And the reason why I say that is because I've been getting a lot of emails from people basically saying how they had a lot of family emergencies, if you will, for the past three, four, five years. So they just haven't had time to do any continuing education. They might say, you know, they just had a lot happening. So they just haven't had time. Now, again, I'm not the CBHO. I'm not affiliated with them, meaning I don't work for them. So if you have any questions in regards to those matters, contact them. But as far as I know, there's no exception. You know, if you want to hold your active license as a dental hygienist with the CDHO here in Ontario, that is just something that you have to do. And in their defense, what I've heard them say or email or call and tell people before is, well, if you haven't been able to uphold your continuing education, then you can take the exam. This is why they do offer two options so that for those people who just don't the portfolio writing just isn't their thing. They just haven't been taking courses. They don't have 75 hours worth of continuing education. That is where the exam comes in. You can take an exam. It's two hours, you guys, online, open book. You can take that. And as long as you pass that, you can still have your license. People ask me, well, what happens if I don't pass? People do not pass. People have failed that exam. You just take it again. I don't know anybody who has failed it and then failed it twice. So I can't speak from experience there, but I do know a number of people who have taken the exam once. They did not pass it. They took it again and then they passed it. Okay. So just take it again, you know, but obviously aim to pass the first time. If you need help with your quality assurance exam, let me know. I can leave a link for you guys on the bottom. I do offer a course for that where I teach you what could be on the exam. I take the previous, you know, um, resources from previous exams into account. And that's how I base my study methods off of off of that. So again, you guys, I feel like I have to say this often. I'm not working for the CDHO. I don't know the exact questions that are going to be on the exam because that obviously wouldn't be fair, but I teach you guys what you need to know as a dental hygienist in order to pass that exam. So if you need help, let me know. I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom. I've, I've been teaching that course for the past five years. So this is not something new. I have taught a number of dental hygienists, but if the portfolio is something that you have decided to do instead, I do offer a course for that too. If you need help with how to write your, um, your goals, your learning activities, um, writing down what you have learned, writing down how you have made changes to your practice, your typical day, I teach all of that also. So I do offer a little bit of both depending on what you have decided to do. 
plus it is now December. So included in my online portfolio workshop, if you have decided to do the portfolio, I, I will have a look at your portfolio free of charge if you are part of that course. Otherwise, if you would like me to look at your portfolio before you obviously send it through to let you know if I think you're on the right track, if I feel you need to update things, if I say, oh, you actually don't have enough hours to submit, then that is a cost of $75, which I can leave the link for you guys on the bottom there too. So I do offer a number of things to help. Um, I will probably talk about each of those three things separately um, in another video. So stay tuned. Um, I'll talk about how I teach for the quality assurance exam, how I offer a course for if you would like to do your portfolio, and also how I handle my um, portfolio um, reviews. So I will talk about all of that in another video if you would like to learn about that. So thank you guys so much for listening. I know if you have been audited or if you're audited for next year, it's a very stressful time. You probably had a mini heart attack, but I can honestly say it's not bad. From somebody who has done it before, I'm not always the most organized. I have done a lot in my dental hygiene career. Having to put that all into a portfolio would seem very stressful to some. If I can do it and pass it, you guys, you can do it too, trust me. So thank you guys, as always, for listening. And on a side note, we have hit 10,000 subscribers. So that's kind of exciting, right? So if you haven't yet, make sure to click like, make sure to click subscribe. So I know people are actually watching. That would be super cool. And thank you guys so much. Have a good day and happy holidays if I don't see you before then or after. No, be before then. <laughs> it's Monday. I don't know what I'm talking about. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>